Hello, sixth graders. Today we're going to be talking about the very last topic or the very last lesson in topic 12, which was all about dividing fractions. And today's topic is solving equations with fractions. So we're still going to have to divide fractions and mixed numbers, but we're going to do it by solving for the missing or the unknown. So let's look at this word problem. It says, Allison is filling the pool shown for her neighbors. She can carry one and seven eighth gallons of water each trip. How many trips does she need to take? So this little pool right here holds 10 and a half gallons. So he, she needs to figure out how many times does she have to carry one and seven eighths until it is filled. So this is the equation that we have. We have one and seven eighths times how many trips which is x, because we don't know how many trips, would equal the whole entire pool, which is 10 and a half. So this is our equation. 1 and 7 eighths x equals 10 and a half. So in order to do anything, we have to go through the steps of solving for the unknown. So if you remember way back in the fall, okay, we locate the variable, okay? Then we have to think whatever's happening to the variable we do the opposite. So what's happening to 1 and 7 eighths and x? Well, if they're smushed together, they are being multiplied. So we have to do the opposite, which is division. So we're going to divide this side by 1 and 7 eighths. And what happens to 1 and 7 eighths divided by 1 and 7 eighths? Well, it cancels out. That just becomes 1x, which is the same thing as just x. So right now, x is by itself, but we're not done. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. So this side, we have to also divide by 1 and 7 eighths as well. So this is what we are solving right now. Okay, 10 and a half divided by 1 and 7 eighths. That is our division problem. So right here, we can fill that in. 10 and a half divided by 1 and 7 eighths eighths. All right. But first, before we even start, so we have 10 and a half divided by one and seven eighths. Now I know you don't have a division sign here um, for the virtual students. So you can just use a slash right now, or if you want to copy and paste division sign, whatever you want to do, but it's going to be divided by. So that's our division problem. Now we talked about this last topic. When we were dividing mixed numbers, you always have to turn the mixed number into a what? You can't keep it as a mixed number. You turn it into an improper fraction. So we have to, we're going to write our improper fractions right here. So we have 10 times 2, which is 20, plus 1. So we have 21 over 2. And same thing on this one, 8 times 1, which is 8, plus 7 is 15. So we have 15 eighths. Okay, now we're going to keep, change, flip. And this is, once you get, honestly, guys, to this step, it's just basically what we were doing um, in the last lesson, okay, dividing mixed numbers. So now we keep, change, flip. We keep 21 over 2. We change the division to multiplication, and we flip, or fancy word, find the reciprocal of 15 eighths, which is 8 fifteenths. And like always, we want to see, can we pre-simplify? So if we look this way, can 8 and 2 be divided by anything? Yes, they can. Okay, they can both be divided by 2. So you can drag these slashes over so you can pre-simplify. 2 divided by 2 is 1. I'll circle that. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay, now we pre-simplified a little bit, but let's try to see if we can pre-simplify this way. Do 21 and 15 have any common factors? They do as well, okay? They could both be divided by three. So 21 divided by three is seven. 15 divided by three, ooh, I just wrote it, is five. So now we can easily multiply across. Seven times four is 28. One times five is five. And just like usual, we don't want to leave it as an improper fraction. We want to convert it to a mixed number, back into a mixed number. So you can think in your head how many times is 5 going to 28. You can also set up a little division problem on a scrap piece of paper if you want. 5 goes into 28 five times. 
to get 25. We subtract, we get three. So our answer, we can't keep going. So it's five and three fifths. So how many trips will she need to take? Well, if you get five and three fifths, you know she'll have to take at least five trips. So probably she'll have to take round up because you wanna fill it completely. She would have to take six trips. All right. So really what this is, guys, is just a continuation of our lessons from um, prior to spring break. All right. So for all of these problems, for the next two problems, which I want you to try by yourself, okay, all you're doing is solving for X. So I'll get you started on this and then I want you to do the rest by yourself. So first we locate the variable, which is X. Whatever's happening, we do the opposite. So it's being multiplied. We're going to divide by two and two thirds. They cancel out. It's just one X or X. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. All right. So our final problem, which we're solving for, is two and eight ninths divided, you can write this slash if you want, by two and two thirds. And then what you guys are gonna do, again, make both of those into improper fractions right here, okay? Keep change flip here, pre-simplify if you can, you'll get an improper fraction and then just convert it to a mixed number. If you wanna set up a division problem for that, you can do that, all right? So complete this next problem, and this next problem independently as a review after this video. All right, so this is our last lesson, guys, which means that we are going to be having a little review tomorrow. And then we are going to be having an assessment on Wednesday that kind of encompasses all of topic 12. All right, if you do have any questions, please let me know and have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.